Welcome to the Bright Vibe Podcast. At Bright Vibe, we believe everyone deserves to be happy. But in today's world, everywhere you turn, there is division and negativity. At Bright Vibe, we have created a global movement to bring 8 million people together who are inspired to live bright, live bold, and share bright vibes. Alone, it can be hard to change, but together we can change the world. Welcome to the Bright Vibe Podcast. Rob Freed, welcome to the Bright Vibe Podcast. So happy to have you on today. Thank you, Matt. Nice to be here. You are a very interesting person. <laughs> You've got a very interesting background. I even love the room that you're in. <laughs> um, we talked about that a little bit. I love that room. That My wife would be all about that. That's like her <laughs> ultimate heaven right there behind you. Um, uh, but yeah, you're a very, very interesting background. And so to, on today's podcast, we're going to get into uh, really some health, wellness, how to live optimally, how to optimize maybe brain health and, and uh, bi some bio biological stuff. But, but you, didn't, you didn't start there. You didn't start in the health space, I don't think. You started in the movie business. And then what was your next career path? I had already joined the board of Chromadex. So okay. I went from uh, joining the board to Chromadex to joining Chromadex at that point in time. Got it. And what does Chromadex do? So Chromadex is uh, quite a, uh, I think, a very impressive and great company. I'm very, very proud to be part of Chromadex. Chromadex is really the world's leading company and, uh, and has an expertise in something called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD. Right. I've heard of NAD. I just never heard it, but the long form, the actual, what it actually stood for. Right. So Chromadex is the leading company and the uh, true experts in NAD, which is growing very, very, very rapidly in popularity. And I read quite a bit about it. And I met this, the then CEO, he's now the chairman of, of Chromadex, still very involved in the business. Uh, an excellent chemist and entrepreneur who had secured patents around this ingredient called nicotinamide riboside or NR, or as we call it, niogen. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, I also met the scientist at Dartmouth who had discovered nicotinamide riboside and became quite good friends with him. Mm -hmm. Invested in the company to the point where I joined the board of the company uh, while I was working at, at, at Hallmark, if mm -hmm. you will. But, but as it turns out, one of, the one of the theories as to why resveratrol did not work, one theory was, well, maybe it's because it's really hard to activate these genes, these sirtuin hmm. genes. And maybe in order to activate these genes, you need a boost of some sort. So perhaps the reason why it was not, it was not working, this turned out not to be the case, but one thing that led to the research was maybe we need to elevate a coenzyme that exists in all living cells called NAD. Okay. So NAD, is this fascinating coenzyme, this molecule that exists in all plant and animal cells, all of them, that's involved in every important metabolic function in those cells. Uh, the activation of genes, the, uh, the creation of energy, the energy metabolism function, the repair of a damaged cell, the repair of a gene mutation, uh, all of these uh, functions and many others are involved involve this coenzyme, which generally work with another enzyme in order to do what it is that they do. And there's a reservoir of this NAD inside of cells that is generally depleted when the cell is under physiological stress or, okay. is, or is aged. Okay. So at the absence of this coenzyme NAD makes it very difficult for the cell to manufacture energy or to repair damage. Got it. Okay. So some of these scientists were thinking, well, maybe if we elevate the NAD levels, that'll help activate these sirtuin genes. Mm -hmm. Turns out you don't even need the resveratrol or even to activate the sirtuin genes. Simply elevating NAD has a very, very dramatic anti-aging impact mm -hmm. or a healing impact, if you will, and an energy metabolism impact. If you just, if you just measure, if you just elevate it, declines in NAD are associated with virtually every indication you can think of when you think of aging. Alzheimer's, arthritis, sar sarcopenia, which is muscle loss, mm -hmm. mental decline. Virtually everything is also associated with a, a decline in NAD. Indeed, there's a, 
There's this orphan disease that some children get called cocaine syndrome where children age so rapidly that they generally die of old age by the time they're 12 or 13. Mm. So, some people call this the Benjamin button. Yeah, I was going to say the Benjamin button, right? So, yeah. So it turns out that these kids have a non-detectable level of NAD, right? So you see the clear relationship between NAD levels and the way the body ages. In, 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 in fact, the World Health Organization defines aging as the accumulation of damage at the molecular and cellular la uh, level. So really all aging is, is damage. Mm. So to repair damage, the, the ability to repair damage is what keeps you youthful. If, you, if, you're, if you're a young kid and you're playing basketball and you twist right. your knee, you have a swollen knee, and two weeks later you're playing basketball again. Right. But if you're in your 60s and you're playing basketball and you twist your knee, it, it could become arthritis. Or right. if you go out in the sun and you get a sunburn, it could be a skin cancer. Mm -hmm. This is the diminished ability to repair the damage as it happens. Mm -hmm. And if you measure NAD levels in the damaged cells, you'll see dramatically declined NAD levels. So the thesis is simple. Just elevate the NAD levels. Does it increase the body's ability to repair the damage? And it turns out it does. Interesting. And I think if I remember right, and again, this is these... You know, the conversations in my life are starting to come back to me because I've got an orthopedic surgeon who's a friend of mine. And he was talking about that he was starting to do something with NAD, but it was like in creams, it was injectable. I mean, they were putting NAD in lotions and stuff. Is this, is that accurate or am I crazy there on that one? Well, now you're seeing it everywhere because okay, enough, okay. <laughs> there's so many, so many studies that have been published right now. And there's so many scientists that now understand the me mechanics of it that okay. you're seeing it proliferate through. Uh, many different industries in skin and in, 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 in dietary supplements and drug development and in beverages and pet, pet supplements across the board. But NAD itself is really ineffective. Okay. The, the NAD molecule itself is a very large molecule and there's a phosphate on the perimeter of the molecule, which blocks entry into the cell. Okay. So really what you need is a precursor, something that turns into NAD once it enters the cell. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people get these NAD IV infusions. They literally go and they get mm -hmm. IV infusions of a gram of NAD and it takes them three and a half hours to do it. And, and they, break, they break out in sweat and they get nauseous. That's because the NAD is struggling to enter into the cell mm. and it breaks down in the bloodstream. And then once it breaks down into the bloodstream into this thing called niogen, nicotinamide riboside, It'll then enter the cell very cleanly and then convert back into NAD. So uh, it, it, nicotinamide riboside is this magical molecule that this Dr. Charles Brenner discovered at Dartmouth that not only does it really, really safely and efficiently elevate NAD, but even more amazing is that it goes directly to the damaged cell. Hmm. So a pathway opens up when a cell calls for distress, which he named the NR nicotinamide riboside, NR kinase pathway. It opens up when the cell is under stress. So if you are experiencing some sort of physiological stress, sunburn or headache or, or an injury, or you went for surgery and you want to heal or loss of energy, taking Truniagen is particularly effective. It's almost like we look at it almost like Advil and that it goes directly to the damaged cell, cleanly and efficiently enters the cell, converts into NAD, and enables the cell to heal itself. But, but it does much more than that. It, it, we've also have studies that show that it increases mitochondrial biogenesis, mitogenesis. In other words, the, the number of mitochondria that the body, that the cell has increases when you take true niogen. Hmm. So the output, the output of mitochondria is this thing called adenosine triphosphate, ATP. You may remember that from yep. biology. Yep. Right? The, the number of ATP molecules goes up. The number of mitochondria go up when you elevate NAD by taking true niogen. So not only does it enable you to heal, it also enables you to increase actual energy. As distinguished from a cup of coffee, which is really just a stimulant and may make you feel right. energized, but doesn't actually create energy. So if I'm taking this, what, what, what's my experience, I guess, physically, mentally? I mean, if I'm going to take this stuff, what is it actually doing? Not necessarily what's it actually doing. What, are, what is my experience of what it's actually doing, if that makes sense, or what it's doing? Of course, I can explain. So 
you can imagine the number of emails and calls and letters that we get from people saying it changed their life is so moving. Rudy was a movie that I still to this day get letters from, from parents telling me how it affected their kids and their kids' right. life. And the Spirit Clips company that we sold to Hallmark was like that as well, but neither even come close to how true Niagen has meaningfully changed people's lives. It moves me to tears on a regular basis. Interesting. You know, um, the experience can be different. There are patterns that we see across the board, but the experience mm -hmm. is different from person to person because people age a little bit differently. Uh, for some people, aging is I can't find my keys. Mm. For some people, is I, I, it's I can't play sports anymore. For some people, it's more about intimacy. For some people, it's very much about aesthetics. You know, how do I look? You know, aging means different things to different people, and it manifests differently to different people. But if you can imagine, if you if you now that if you can now understand what nicotinamide riboside, what true niagen does, it essentially goes to the physiologically stressed cell the cell that is under the most physiological stress elevates the nad level and enables the cell to endeavor to heal itself so the manifestation tends to be across the board including really important disease indications well yeah you would think because it's yes like cancer right yeah and the, 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 one of the problems is that we don't sell it as a drug. We sell it as a dietary supplement. And the, and the FDA regulations are very clear that you cannot make claims. You can't even imply a claim <laughs> right. that is a disease. For example, we did, we did three studies on COVID. Mm -hmm. The first one we did is we showed that within two hours of a, co a coronavirus attaching to a cell, the NAD level dropped by 80%. Oh, wow. Why? Because the cell is trying to repel the virus and heal itself. Right. It consumes right. all the NAD. Mm -hmm. So we then did a, st a second study saying, well, what if you introduce true niogen into the solution? And sure, as sure enough, it was protective. Then we did a phase two clinical study with 300 patients who were symptomatic COVID patients and it had a better result. And that was true niogen in combination with certain other vitamins I need to mention. Mm. Although I think true niogen was the most effective. But it, it was more effective than remdesivir, which was the big drug that was approved. Right. So what I'm saying is by strengthening the cell, you improve the cell's ability to repel, repair DNA damage, repel viruses, or heal itself. And I mentioned that cocaine syndrome to you before. Mm -hmm. These kids have non-detect levels of NAD, so the body is basically deteriorating in these kids, right. aging rapidly. We essentially have that same disease ourselves, only it's slower. Slower, right. The National Institutes of Health, the, the head of the anti-aging division of the National Institutes of Health was able to replicate that disease in mice and treat those mice effectively with true niogen. And when you say effectively, slow it down or stop? So it? it's very hard to, yeah, slow it down. Improve Got with it. a failure to thrive. Got it. Improve okay. failure to thrive. There are several other of these advanced uh, uh, aging diseases that we've also been able to show improvement of by taking high doses of true niogen of nicotinamide riboside. By the way, that head of that uh, NIH division has recently joined the Chromadex Scientific Advisory Board mm -hmm. because he feels so strongly about the power of true niogen to help body, the, I used to say all humans, but it's really animals and humans help mm. them to age, uh, age better. Uh, so people will, so in answer to your uh, question, people will experience it slightly differently depending on what the condition is you're trying to address. And what I would recommend to somebody starting true niogen is before you start it, take some inventory on what's going really not as well as it used to go in your body? Is it sleep? Is it healing? Is it recovery from your workouts? Is it the workout levels? Is it some other issue? Is it, is it cognition, cognitive impairment? Is it memory? And then try to create some sort of quantifiable metric for how you're doing. Then take it for two months. Don't take it for a week and say, this is, how do I feel? I don't feel different. Right. And I, take it for a couple of months. 
Now we recommend 300 milligrams. It's not a cheap dietary supplement if you're comparing it to vitamin C. I mean, I think it's sort of a silly comparison to be candid with you. I mean, right. you know, it's expensive yeah. as a vitamin. It's very cheap for youth. But, but um, I personally take three times that amount. Mm. But, but let's, let's say you just took that amount or made it for, for two months. Then after the two months, then assess the metric. And then you will see whether it's knee pain or shoulder pain or something inflammation related, perhaps. It's mm -hmm. incredibly effective for inflammation, true niogen. Which so, inflammation is usually tied to disease, which is tied to aging, right? So all those right. things. Right. Yeah, they call it inflammaging. Right. <laughs> yes. So that's, that's how people experience it. Now, if you're looking for trends and patterns, people who take it for a few months say that they feel more energized, a much more active life. They sleep better. One thing to look for right away if you're looking for an immediate result, mm -hmm. perhaps, is hair and nail growth. That's to happen much more rapidly when people start elevating their NAD levels, uh, uh, heal, healing in, in general. Mm. Uh, but that's, that would be my suggestion, and that's what, that's what we hear. And, and if you want to hear an objective, read something objective about what people were taking and say, on Amazon, there are, I think, 15,000 ratings and reviews, which we have no ability to edit or control in any way. Right. People go on there and they write about how it affected them. Mm. And so that's a good way to do any personal research. Just go on the ratings and reviews of Amazon and see what people are saying about it. Right. Got it. Very interesting. So we're, th we're really talking about like a fountain of youth where we're slowing down the aging process is kind of, at least that's what I'm gleaning out of our today's conversation is we're slowing down the aging process because we're giving the body what it needs to recover from whatever it's encountering in the world we live in. So whether it's to your point, knee pain, and we've infl inflammation in the body, it sounds like it does a good job with, but ultimately we're, we're able to recover faster from these things that are affecting us. Is that? Yeah. I mean, as I said, the World Health Organization defines aging as the accumulation of damage at the molecular level, but also the diminished ability to repair that damage. So essentially right. what you're doing is increasing your ability to repair damage. Mm hmm but you're also increasing the uh, mitochondrial function, energy metabolism function. So those are your two primary outcomes. One is an improved ability to heal, and the other is improved ability to, to, to convert the nutrients from food and the oxygen from air into energy at the cellular level. So you hmm. should have more actual energy. You will have more actual energy, and you will have an improved ability to repair damage at the cellular level. Those are the two things that you will have. Very interesting. And that's your experience just on a human level, on a personal level? I would not have made the investment or joined the board of Gone Health. <laughs> I was not completely convinced. Same with my wife and virtually every friend that I have. <laughs> you got them all. I had, <laughs> I had hurt my knee like four right. years ago skiing. Right. And the knee pain was so severe for me that I, like, I had to w lean on the other leg every time I walked up the steps. But after three months of taking Truniagen, I, I couldn't tell which was the knee that I had hurt. Interesting. And it was deeper than that. Like my sleeping, I've now been sleeping full seven, eight hours a night for, since I've been taking this thing for eight years. Mm -hmm. And I had already gotten to a point in my life where I was saying, you know, I think I need a nap or maybe I need to slow down. And I'm, I'm just so incredibly energized and I live such a vibrant existence now that um, I really do attribute it, you know, part, in part to attitude, but also right. actually in part to, um, to true niogen. You know, I, I think it works. Hmm. Very, very cool. Well, where's the company headed from here, I guess? What's kind of the plans on the, on the radar for the next year, two years, or long term? Well, we don't view ourselves as a dietary supplement company. We don't view ourselves as a health nutrition company. We view ourselves as an NAD company. You know, the, the scientific advisory board that I mentioned to you not only has that former head of the NIH and also the Charles Brenner, the guy who invented nicotinamide riboside, it also has two Nobel Prize winners, uh, Roger Kornberg from Stanford and, uh, and from Cambridge, also uh, 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 Dr. John Watson. But also it has the head of neurology at Harvard, Rudy Tanzi, and Dr. David Katz from Yale. And also um, uh, Bruce German from UC Davis, 
who specializes in, uh, in, in milk. All of these, all of these people, and also uh, Bruni Felding, who's a leading cancer researcher at Scripps Research Institute. All of these people are working on nicotinamide riboside and NAD. They're not just big names on an advisory board. They are all doing research or have done research or have an expertise in NAD or NAD research or nicotinamide riboside. And they are big, big believers. So we understand more about NAD than any other company in the world. Hmm. And we think helping to manage people's NAD levels is really important for health span, as it were. Right. Not extending lifespan per se, but extending the number of years that you live healthy. Right. And this is our focus. And it's really just about the focus of that, of NAD. NAD expertise, NAD productization, NAD commercialization. Don't expect us to have a big, broad line of dietary right. supplements that are out there or, or to start explaining to you what foods you need to eat in order to be healthier. Mm. But if you're interested in NAD and you really want to know what the current true state of the science is, you, go, you come to Chromadex and mm. see what they say. Well, thank you so much for enlightening me today and enlightening our, our listeners and our viewers. Um, like I said, I'd heard of it. I'm not a scientist. I'm in the health industry or healthcare industry, I should say, or have been for a long time and kind of in transition from that. But uh, yeah, I'd heard it out there, but thank you for just kind of doing the deep dive. I'm certainly glad that my wife was not on, but she could have, she would have been a much better host for you today because my wife exactly. reads, oh, cause she is a voracious reader of everything health, everything longevity, um, as well as spirituality. She's very plugged in in that way too. Um, but yeah, I would have probably needed to mortgage something just to buy your product. <laughs> I mean, because she would have wanted to buy it in truckloads. So I've got to think how I'm going to introduce this because I do want my wife to live as long and healthy as she possibly can. Um, but yeah, it you know, retails for like thirty dollars a month, depending on how much you. Oh, buy. is that right? Yeah. It's okay. Not like well, we okay. All right. When you said expensive, I thought it was something else. So. Well, um, relative to a vitamin that you might pay $10. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no, that would be, yeah. No, all that stuff's crap. I've done enough research on vitamins to know that if you're buying it at a major big box store, it's just crap. And I'll say that you don't have to. Because, <laughs> but, uh, but so anyway, yeah, it's just, just fascinating, fascinating stuff. And you, you're such an interesting man in and of yourself. Just, I love, I love people that follow their passions, right? I mean, that's the people that come on the show usually are authors, they're thought leaders, and they're following a passion and making the world a better place. And that's why I love doing this podcast, because I get to visit with people who are making the world a better place. And you definitely fit at the top of that category as far as just passionate and helping helping humanity hopefully get literally physically heal. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, if you had just one overall message that was just to, to kind of, of all of your life experiences, if there was one lesson that you've learned from all of your life experiences that you could add value to the other 8 billion um, uh, creatures roaming this earth that are called humans. Um, what, I guess, what, what message would you want to impart to them? I don't think that there's any grand uh, purpose. I don't think we're here for any specific purpose, but if you can find purpose, it makes it a lot easier. And I think, you know, in today's world, a lot of people, I know I have struggled with purpose since COVID. <laughs> or during COVID and since COVID, and I'm starting to come back to a sense of purpose. But I think that's a real, I, I agree with you. I think that's a very important thing that we find purpose in our lives and find purpose with the things we're doing, whether we change the things we're doing or not. I think finding purpose in the things we do, um, yeah, it makes it, you know, I think it makes it more fun to be honest with you, but it, it, there's a, that sense of passion, that sense of uh, aliveness when you have purpose behind what you do. Oh, so, yeah. I once saw uh, John Cleese, the comedian, uh -huh. interviewed, and he said when he turned 75 years old, he came to the realization that nobody really knows anything. <laughs> yeah, that's so right. I'm kind of with you on that. I'm kind of with you. The older, I think, yeah, there, isn't there a saying that the older you get, the, the, less, the less that you know that you know, <laughs> right? I mean, it's like, it's like almost un, unknowing. <laughs> but it but it helps if you find a reason. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. Well, thank you, Rob, for coming on today. I really appreciated our conversation, and I, I know our listeners will enjoy it as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of the Bright Vibe podcast. For more information, go to brightvibe.com. That's B-R-I-T-E, vibe, B-I-B-E dot com. Thank you for listening.